So now I have two of those knots drawn, and I don't have to draw the others, I just have to flip the piece of paper upside down and retrace it when it's on the leather. So let's get on that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now it's time to tool. Voila, there's the first side of it, and I'm actually very happy with that. So, here we go. I, the camera accidentally turned off when I was doing this part here. So now I'm going to work on getting this ring, making a new one of those. So I'll be right back at it. Okay, so I got a new ring here, and now I'm going to try tooling it. And hopefully I don't goof it all up. Mm-hmm. 
and here we go so far. So all that's left is to dye it and then rivet it and put it on the binder. Last bit of work. Pretty good. Okay, so I've drilled holes through these points here, and now I'm going to mix and mash some rivets. So I have here the antique brass rivet head, and then I have this cap from another rivet, which is smaller and will fit better. I just put it on top of the binder it's going to be going onto, and... You know, I'm usually my own worst critic, but I am very pleased with this. So now I just need to put some rivets in here to keep it in place. I'll be good, I'll just have to measure that out. Okay, I have now located and punched all my holes. So now I need to find a way to connect it out here. So what I'm going to do take some of this double stick tape. I'm going to put it on all the sides here. It's going to help keep it in place. Then I'm going to take out the garage, drill holes for the rivets, and rivet it all together. that. So when this works, 